Whether you love it or hate it, AI is honestly here to stay. I honestly don't think it's going anywhere. And so in my opinion, we should just use it to help us run our businesses. Um, I think that there are so many advantages to using AI and stuff. There are some disadvantages as well, but I think that there's a lot of advantages out there that, um, you know, can really help us run our businesses to their full potential and do it in a much easier way. <laughs> Today we're obviously talking about product photography specifically. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys the app that I use um, to use for social media posts and things like that. I don't use this for all of my photos and stuff like that, um, but I do use it. I have been using it more frequently, especially for social media and stuff. It's really great for just some super simple, easy photos really fast and everything. Um, and so I think it's just a really easy way to get really great product photography um, for really, really cheap. <laughs> The app I'm talking about today is called Photo Room. It is a great um, app that I only recently discovered. Pro well, I mean, it's probably been honestly like a year, but I haven't started using it up until maybe like two, three months ago um, is when I started using it. And um, I have really only used it for social media posts and stuff like that so far. I don't use it for like website photos or things like that yet. Um, I might in the future, I haven't decided yet. Um, it is really nice. It does make things uh, really easy and convenient and everything. Um, I am a little picky when it comes to photos and stuff like that. And if I can tell that it's like, you know, AI or edited or, you know, photoshopped, whatever. Um, I just, you know, I have a harder time uh, wanting to post it and stuff like that because I just really prefer things to look realistic and things like that. Um, however, there definitely are a lot of tools within the app that I'm going to show you um, that can really help you get to the most realistic that you can possibly get. Um, and honestly, I don't think most people will ever know the difference. <laughs> but basically what the app does is it, uh, much like you can do in Canva, it does remove the background of your photo and then it allows you to place your product into other uh, backgrounds of other photos and stuff like that. Um, it has a lot of um, generated photos and stuff like that but then you can also even go as far as like adding in different elements like say if you are you know photos of a rose scented candle you could even um, ask it to put in like different roses and stuff around the candle all sorts of just crazy different things that you can do with it honestly I don't even think I've scratched the surface yet um, but I thought I would kind of make a little tutorial and just kind of show you guys around the app and everything um, this video is not sponsored or even affiliated or anything like that it's just a really cool tool that I have been uh, using recently and thought you guys would like to know about it <laughs> this is a great alternative to things like replica surfaces or um, you know buying like a whole photography system and everything like that um, you know buying like the backdrops and you know big lights and you know all those things or whatever um, this is just kind of a alternative to doing all of that or whatever um, it does cost a little bit the app or whatever um, I believe it's like four or five dollars a week or something like that or you can pay for the year which is like eighty dollars a year and I think at one point I don't know if this is still accurate but at one point they did have an option where you could pay monthly, um, but that was only if you signed up through, um, like through a computer rather than for your phone, but you can still use the app on your phone and everything like that. Um, you would just have to initially sign up through a computer um, to get the monthly subscription. I don't know if they're still doing that or not, but I know for a while that you could sign up for a monthly one instead of either yearly or weekly. <laughs> so first things first, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm setting up my shots um, before I am loading them into Photo Room. So first off, I just want to show you guys kind of how I get my um, photos and stuff before I load them into the app. You don't have to be this detailed. I'm just kind of a psychopath when it comes to photos. And especially when I'm using something like this, I really, because I've been a photographer for so long, I am really nitpicky about little things that probably no one else notices. <laughs> um, but just like certain things where I can tell that the lighting is off or things are just kind of look weird. Essentially, I just don't want my images to look fake. And so I kind of want to show you guys how I set up the shot just to kind of get the best 
um, possible lighting and stuff like that. So first up, I have two different, I know, well, okay, it's too dark to see them, but there's a light right here. <laughs> and then there's another one right over here. But basically what I have found is that like, if your label doesn't, um, if it's not like super well lit and stuff like that um, on the AI images and stuff, it can just come out looking really fake. You can edit it in the editor and everything, but I try to do my best to get things like in camera, right? So that I don't have to do a bunch of editing and stuff. But um, if, you know, if we have to do a little bit, that's totally fine. Um, but me personally, I just like to get as much from the photo uh, without editing that I can. And so, like I said, you definitely do not need to set up your products on replica services or anything like that. Um, that is what I'm using today. These are replica services. So back here is, I think it's called Kitchenscape. And then this one is the glossy all white uh, replica surface. But you can literally take just about any photo from anywhere and, uh, you know, use it for what we're doing today. But I'm just showing you guys exactly how I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm not sure how well you can see my screen there, but basically I'm actually just using the photo mode instead of portrait mode. Um, I found that when I use portrait mode, it just kind of does some weird things um, when I go to load it into the app and stuff or whatever, um, like the edges of the candles and stuff just look super weird and it just gets a little wonky sometimes. So I just use regular photo mode. And then to frame the shot, I do like to zoom in just so that it's nice and close and um, on the product and everything. Um, and then I do make sure that it is focused on the label and then I just go ahead and snap the picture. And then sometimes I even will play with the lighting, this little sun right here. If you bring it up, it brightens the photo. If you bring it down, it darkens it, etc. So I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit and then go ahead and take that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and switch this candle out and get a different scent. And then for this one, I'm actually just gonna do a flat lay shot. So I'm just going to be shooting from above just to kind of get some variety in our um, AI photos and stuff, just so we can kind of look at all the different things you can do with it. Flat lay, for those of you who don't know, is just when you're taking a photo from above instead of straight on. And then something else I did want to mention is that you do really want to make sure that you are kind of as eye level with your product as possible. Um, I found that when you try and take a photo like this, like where you're up above or something like that. I mean, you can kind of be below it, that's fine. But if you're up above it, um, it's definitely it's definitely a lot easier with some of the backgrounds and stuff that they give you um, to be able to tell that it's a fake, you know, AI generated photo and everything. Um, so it's just a lot less um, wonky and stuff in the app if you take the photo straight on. Real fast, before we get to the next part of the video, it would mean so much to me if you'd give this video a thumbs up if you are finding some value in it, just that way so some other people can find it and see it on YouTube and everything. It does really help my channel. Uh, and then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't already so that we can keep hanging out. So now that we've taken our photos, I'm gonna show you guys around uh, the Photo Room app and kind of show you guys some different things that you can do with this app um, to get some really great product photos. So first things first, we're just gonna open up the app. Um, and then as soon as you get into the app, you're gonna see this is basically what your screen looks like. Up here at the top, they have um, a whole bunch of different things you can do, um, like just removing the background. You can retouch if it's like a, if you wanna take like a picture of yourself. Um, they have what's called instant backgrounds and instant shadows, which I'll kind of show you guys what those are here in a little bit, um, as well as resize your photo. Um, and then if you wanna just do like a simple, quick, like you're just, um, you know, taking the background out of your photo and making it into like, you know, a mock-up essentially. And you have like this white and black, uh, transparent, etc. cetera, um, options and everything. That's basically how you do that real fast. Um, but what we're gonna do right now, I'm not gonna go through all the things because this app literally is massive <laughs> and we would be here for hours um, if I went through everything. Basically, um, I'm gonna start with this button down here at the bottom that just says start from photo. I'm just gonna click that and then I'm gonna go pick one of the first images that we took. Uh, we'll go with this one. See how that one does. Actually, I'm 
gonna go back and pick a different one. Um, then I'm just gonna go back and pick one of these images that we took. Um, I'll go with this last one right here. All right, so it's gonna automatically, as soon as you pick it, it's gonna remove that background for you. Um, and then as you can see, as you scroll down here, um, there's already some like instant backgrounds and stuff that it will show you. Um, these aren't the best or whatever. I mean, they're fine, but they're not the best. Don't worry, there's much better ones. Um, but they do all sorts of different things. Like even down here, um, you can do different photo editing things. Like you can blur out the background. Um, you can turn the background black and white and just have your product be in, uh, in color. Uh, you can add some like motion effects and just all different kinds of different um, editing stuff. Um, and then there's also like all these different places that you're going to be, um, that you can, you know, choose if you need a specific image size or anything like that. They've got them right down here. Uh, and then obviously there's even more like social ones and all that stuff. But for now, I'm going to go right back up here to um, the... Uh, instant backgrounds and I'm actually just going to click that and then it's going to give you kind of some suggestions to start with you definitely can use these but you don't have to there are so many other options in there um, obviously like some of these look good and some of them are like clearly obviously fake <laughs> um, like obviously you know this beach one um, you know looks like my candle is like 30 feet tall um, and not really 30 feet, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but then there's ones like this concrete background one that, you know, doesn't look too bad or whatever. And if you click on it, it will actually give you some other options and then you can continue generating more until you find one that you really like. Um, what I like about these ones too, is they really like do well with like the shadows and stuff of your product. It will really blend in kind of the shadows and everything, um, to the background so that it kind of, um, you know, just makes it look more realistic and everything like I was talking about before, um, which is really nice. <laughs> and then if you keep scrolling down, there's even all these down here, like events and, you know, different holidays and stuff like that. Um, you can even go to like, you know, um, Easter's coming up semi soon. You can click on that and it will go ahead and generate, you know, some different, uh, Easter type, um, you know, backgrounds and everything. Um, since this is a Valentine's Day one, let's go ahead and go to the Valentine's Roses um, and just kind of see. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of different options. Um, but then even from there, you can come down here um, and still see all of these um, different options and everything. Um, and say if you want to change to Valentine's Hearts instead, you can do that. Um, that looks more like balloons than hearts, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, you can keep kind of generating even more. Um, but then I wanted to show you guys something really cool that you can do is, um, you can start with one of basically any of these down here. Um, so say you start with this love one, that one does kind of more of the hearts like we were talking about before. Um, and then... Uh, you can click this little pencil icon up here in the uh, right hand corner um, and it actually gives you the prompt that they are using to generate that image. Um, and so that is why it's called an instant background is basically it's written in for you. Um, but you can actually go in and change the, um, the prompt and everything yourself. Um, so right now it says a, prof a professional photo of an object with hearts. So I'm going to change with hearts to with chalk nope <laughs> with chocolate oh my goodness okay chocolate covered strawberries um and then i'm gonna keep everything else the same um but i'm just gonna add that chocolate covered strawberries in there and then i'm gonna click generate image to kind of see what it gives us um, and so, yeah, it did, it didn't really, well, okay. It gave us chocolate and strawberries, but you know, close enough. <laughs> um, I'm sure that there's like other prompts that you can add in, uh, to make it, you know, uh, more chocolate covered strawberry and everything. Um, and then you can kind of keep generating some until you find one that you like. It will add in different backgrounds and just different things, 
um, with it and stuff to kind of give you a better overall look and everything to your photo um, if that's what you want. Aside from all of the different, you know, holidays and themes like that, they've also got um, things like, you know, you can put your product on a tree stump and have it, you know, be kind of out in the forest somewhere. You can do kind of an autumn type background with, you know, some fall leaves and stuff in there and everything like that and honestly there's just so many different options that you can do um there's this you know one you can add some plants around it um like i said there's literally so many they've even got like some interiors like they've got you know like little cozy home type setups and everything and again you can you know like i said use that little pencil icon to kind of um you know change you can change it basically anything in the photo you can uh, make it a whole new photo basically if you want uh you can add it to you know a whole different place in the house you can choose the kitchen the bathroom you know living room whatever um, but then they've even got, you know, fabric ones down here. Like basically anything, any kind of background that you can think of, it's probably in there somewhere. <laughs> and then you can actually even back, if you scroll all the way back up to the top, um, you can click this create a background. And so it kind of gives you these two different prompts. And so you can even pick little ones if you have, um, you know, if you don't have like an idea of what you want or whatever, you can just um, click one of these down here and it will uh, use that as well. Um, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say the subject is going to be on a marble countertop with, I'm gonna try the chocolate covered strawberries again with chocolate covered strawberries in the background. And then we're gonna generate that and kind of see, yeah, these are much more my personal style. Um, I really like the kind of bright, um, brighter, you know, uh, clean type photos and stuff. I really like this first one up here, even though once again, it didn't cover, it actually cover them with chocolate, but you know, whatever it's, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm sure that there's some way to, you know, type it in specifically. Sometimes you have to get really specific with the way you type things and stuff like that in, um, to get kind of what you're looking for or whatever. But honestly, um, you know, I'm fine with this. <laughs> okay. But now I'm gonna go back and I'm actually gonna choose a different uh, photo. So we're gonna start from photo and I'm gonna do maybe, I'll actually do one of these flat lays and see. It looks like the one candle kind of got cut off though, so I'm not sure how that will work out. Sometimes it's actually really good and intuitive and it'll even put something up against the product to, or put it at the end, kind of like as you see down here or whatever with these. Um, it kind of puts it up against the edge of the photo so that, you know, it looks realistic and stuff and looks like it was meant to be taken that way. Um, all right, and then from there, I'm gonna go to Instant Backgrounds and I'm gonna do Create a Background. I'm gonna say your service on a black marble countertop. If I can spell not Marvel, this isn't a Marvel movie. Um, and then I'm gonna say with um, frosted sugar cookies. I haven't done these ones before, so I generally don't know what it's gonna do. Oh, yeah, so it kind of did some white, I mean, it kind of did just like a darker, which I think that honestly, it wouldn't have made sense with black because these candles are black, so it doesn't really make sense. But um, yeah, you can kind of see, obviously French lilac doesn't go with that, but you know, with the other candle scent, I figured we would add in, you know, some cookies in there just to make you really hungry. <laughs> And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick a different photo now um, just to work on and show you guys something else. Um, so I'll just pick this first one right here, the French lilac scent. So I'm gonna go into more scenes again. And then yeah, if you click that more scenes, it even like gives you some, it gives you some really good ones. Like this one over here to the right looks really cool. Um, honestly, both of those top ones look really good. Um, but I'm gonna scroll down here. I saw one earlier that I liked. 
um, oh, here we go, down here at the flowers. Um, I really liked this tulip one earlier. I thought it looked really cool, even though I know this is lilac or whatever instead, but um, I wanna see, actually, I like this one a lot. And I wanna show you guys how to change like specific parts of the photo. So basically um, you can just click this little layers section. So first thing that you can do is you can actually um, edit the background and the uh, product that you're using separately. So if you go to edit the background, um, you can scroll down a little bit and then there's like different options like blurring it out um, to make your product stand out a little bit more. Um, there's different filters that you can add. Um, and then if you come down here to this adjust section, this is where you can change like the brightness of the background. Um, you can change the warmth, the contrast, the saturation, you know, you can sharpen it up or blur it out or whatever. Um, you can do highlights, all that kind of stuff just to kind of play around with it um, to get the best um, results and everything. Um, I'm trying to get this back to zero, sorry. <laughs> but what I was talking about earlier when I was showing you the photos is that if you don't get your, you know, say your um, product looks a little, you know, to me like this label looks really dark, um, you know, compared to the photo and everything. And so it's kind of more obvious to me that it's an AI uh, type photo. Um, and so you can actually go down here and you can even like, there's like a shadow, there's different, all different kinds of settings that you can change there to kind of give it a more uh, realistic look and everything. Um, there's even like outlines and uh, reflections and stuff like that. Obviously that doesn't work for this photo, but you know, for other ones. But we're gonna go to this adjust tool and then the brightness, I'm just gonna turn that up until I feel like it looks like it matches the photo a little bit better. Um, that looks a little bit better. Um, and then I would maybe even go into contrast and yeah, there we go. Turn that up just a little bit. Um, and then saturation, I would maybe turn it down because the wood lid is starting to kind of take over the photo, I feel like, a little bit. So I would maybe do it about there, maybe. And then if you want to, you can even sharpen your product a little bit. Um, you can work on shadows, basically anything uh, within the photo you can edit and make it look a little bit more realistic or make your product stand out a little bit better and things like that. And then from there, I also like to do this shadows option. So that will kind of um, fix the shadows around your product and around um, just different parts of the photo and stuff like that, that will kind of help it to um, look again, like I said, a little bit more realistic and everything. Or if you decide that you don't like that background, you can, you know, like I just did, uh, generate more um, and just kind of change up your background and stuff. Um, you can even go down here. Ooh, some of those look really good. Um, you can even go down here to um, edit this background like we did before and change the tulips to like say, I'm gonna say lilac flowers, um, since that is the scent that we are using. And it kind of adds it to a lilac field. Again, obviously some of these aren't super realistic, so personally I don't love them, but I mean, some people are totally okay with that look of, you know, like, you know, this one honestly isn't, you know, horrible, um, but, you know, I can obviously tell that it's edited and not real or whatever. But, um, you know, some people don't mind that look or whatever. I personally don't like it. But again, that's just me. <laughs> One other setting I was going to show you guys is like they have all these different uh, fabrics down here. But then they also have these water um, backgrounds down here that I thought were really cool, especially for like bath and body products. Um, obviously I don't have any, so we're just going to keep using the candle, but, um, they have some just really cool different things that you can do. Um, they have like all different colors too, and they just look really super cool, um, on some of these or whatever. I really like the way that they look with like, especially if you had like bath and body products, like I said, um, and stuff like that, that would kind of just look really cool with certain 
uh, backgrounds uh, in here and everything. It's even got some where the water is like pouring in the background and stuff and it just looks super cool. <laughs> But yeah, honestly, I, like I said, don't even think I have scratched the surface of this app. There is literally so many things that you can do with it. I feel like every time I go into it, I find a new feature or a new thing that you can do um, to your photos and stuff. And just, it is super cool and I honestly love it. <laughs> And as I was saying before, I personally really only use this for social media. If I need like a quick social media post or, you know, something like that, I'll usually just pull an image that I already have taken and just take out the background and add a new one or whatever. And honestly, most people have zero idea. <laughs> Obviously, I, like I said before, don't use this for all of my product photography. Um, in fact, I really only use it for like social media posts at this point. Um, that might change in the future, but for now, um, I, you know, really enjoy product photography and creating different scenes and stuff like that myself, rather than just typing it into, you know, my phone or whatever. Um, I do just, you know, really like the fun of, you know, taking photos and stuff like that. But this is a great, great app for when you really need, like, you know, you're in a time crunch or you just don't have time to pull out, you know, your, <laughs> my, for me, I don't have time all the time to pull out my big old camera and set up, you know, my replica surfaces and my lights and all that. And, you know, just for a social media post or whatever, um, I'd rather just, you know, pull an image I already have and take out the background and swap it out and make it look new or whatever, then, you know, do all that just for a social media post. <laughs> Obviously, like I was saying, there are pros and cons to both, um, you know, using AI things and also doing everything yourself. Um, obviously, you know, we are, most of us, I think, are just a one man or woman show. And so uh, if we can find things that make our lives a little bit easier, we're usually going to use them <laughs> um, because we're trying to, we're trying to run a business and it's a lot. <laughs> So let me know down in the comments, have you used Photo Room before? Um, if you are using it, let me know some features that I may be left out. Leave them down in the comments below. Um, any other kind of tips or tricks that you have? Like I said, I'm still new at using this app. I've only been using it for, I would say inconsistently too, because I like randomly, like I only randomly use it. So I've been maybe using it for the past like, maybe two or three months or so. Um, and you know, I feel like I still, like I said, have only scratched the surface with it and everything. So um, definitely a newbie. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, I would love to hear about them. Um, and I'm sure other people would love to read about other things that the app can do as well. Um, so, but with that, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, if you'd like to continue hanging out, there's going to be some other videos that pop up on the screen and I will see you there. <laughs>